Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel, and in today's video, I'd like to share with you what the next step is after you've already formed your LLC. Uh, in my previous video, I had talked about how to form your LLC, uh, what I had to do to form it in Indiana. Uh, so if you haven't already checked out that video, uh, you can go ahead and do so now. Uh, check out that video and then come back to this video. So after you form your LLC uh, and you've got that put together, whether it's just you, uh, one person or you have a partner uh, or partners uh, in the endeavor in the uh, venture to start this business uh, the next step is to uh, put together your operating agreement and uh, to be honest it's really not that much talked about uh, anywhere on YouTube unless you already know about it and uh, I just happened to stumble upon it uh, when I was looking into LLC uh, information and uh, that really caught my attention I wanted to bring it before you guys today so an LLC operating agreement uh, kind of kind of spells it out in, in the name really it's talking about how the LLC is going to simply operate uh, as a business how is it going to function uh, it's basically like you know a robot what is the code uh, to to make a robot go forward or go backward or you know those types of things uh, an, an operating agreement is simply going to say when was the business started, uh, who's involved, by how much are they involved, all of the addresses for all those people who are involved, what's the purpose of the business, uh, the registered agent uh, that I talked about in the previous video, uh, that's a big, big thing on the operating uh, agreement. And then really all things financial, you know, how much is each member invested into the company, uh, what are the roles of each person, and uh, what's the real function of the business? Uh, what is this business going to look like? Is this going to look like someone who's uh, the, the manager in, in the office versus the guy who's actually out there doing the real uh, hard work, uh, hooking up trailers, dropping them off, all those things. And so an operating agreement is something that's an internal agreement amongst all of the members who are in charge. Those who have a say in the company, an operating agreement uh, is simply something that uh, all of the members agree on that everything is the way it's supposed to be, uh, what they're going to be doing, what their job is, what your job is, uh, and just all the facts and the figures uh, behind the scenes. So for me as the sole member, a, a single member uh, LLC, uh, the operating agreement is essentially going to be me writing it out, uh, me telling the date, giving all my information. I am the registered agent. Uh, so I'll be giving that information again, uh, and then simply just writing out the plan of the business. What is the purpose of this business supposed to be? How is it going to be accomplished? Uh, and to be able to go through those facts and figures uh, financially as well, what I've invested into the company. Uh, and then I would simply just sign it at the bottom. Uh, I did find a excellent video on YouTube talking through this, uh, much better than I ever could. I simply just wanted to share this and kind of bring it up to the surface uh, so maybe you guys can be thinking about this going forward after you put your LLC uh, together or maybe during do it at the same time uh, when you are piecing your business together uh, getting things set up so an operating agreement is not something uh, that you actually have to turn into the government uh, it's simply something that uh, it's an internal thing in your company in your LLC uh, that you have to put together and essentially all agree on and then sign. Anytime you need to change something or tweak something, uh, if there's something wrong or something has changed, maybe you invested more money into the business, uh, maybe they did, maybe they wanted to get out of the business. Any type of change essentially would just mean that everybody who's still a member, a part of the LLC, uh, needs to sign and confirm that that is now how the business is going to operate going forward. Uh, it's a fluid form. This again does not have to go to the government. It may come up in a financial you know, dispute or something, uh, maybe possibly in court uh, someday, but in confirming that everybody's on the same page uh, going forward as things can change down the road, uh, as the business grows, you know, hopefully. So that is an operating agreement. Uh, it's, it is something very important uh, for me. I'm going to be putting in my operating agreement uh, if it ever were to come up in court or something, uh, if there were to be any legal uh, action taken somehow uh, in the future, I will be personally putting down that uh, I personally bought uh, the dumpster trailer for my business. I'm going to list how much that cost, uh, all the items I've since purchased towards the business, 
uh, everything I've put into it. And then also that I'm using my personal truck uh, to be able to be used towards the LLC. Uh, I am personally giving permission to the LLC uh, to use my truck, to pull my dump trailer uh, for the business going forward so that I can distinguish uh, what I have actually brought into this business. And if there are ever any you know, legal action brought against me from a customer or anything like that, uh, the LLC had the permission to use my personal property uh, going forward if there was ever any issue down the road, uh, financially or legally in, the, in those things. So uh, I will be taking my operating agreement uh, to a professional to have it looked over to make sure that I didn't uh, leave any holes in there uh, for me personally. I'm obviously just a one-man show, so I'm not too worried about you know disagreeing with myself uh, but if there were ever any person added to this in the future, I want it to be crystal clear exactly what I have done from the very beginning up until that point. If there were any partner that came on board with me in the future, there's no holes. Everything is crystal clear how my business, how the LLC uh, has been operating and is operating. And then potentially we can decide how it could change going down the road. That's going to wrap up this video for today. I just want to talk about that operating agreement. It's very important. Uh, it's an internal thing amongst your own LLC, so uh, no, no real rush to get it turned into uh, any type of government agency or anything. But you do need to have this agreement on hand, even if you're just one person. Uh, if you don't have this operating agreement, you're really presenting yourself as not a real company. If you don't have this operating agreement for your LLC, uh, it really makes you look bad, it, it's unprofessional, and uh, potentially could leave you open to trouble down the road, which we do not want uh, in our business. So that's gonna wrap up the video for today. If you're wondering you know, why I'm driving, uh, I am actually doing my other job right now because uh, you know, when we first start out this business, uh, we don't have customers all day, every day blowing up my phone. Uh, I only have one trailer even to, uh, to rent out at the beginning here anyways. So I'm hauling a trailer you know, across the country uh, as my day job up until uh, I'm able to transition more over towards dump trailers uh, with my new business. So anyways, hopefully you have a great day today. Stay safe, guys, and God bless.